Well, g'day again there, insiders. Here we are, back for another video about the inside story of Bangkok. And I'm here with my mate Todd again, so we're still getting him all set up. Uh, we found a uh, we found a uh, townhouse, you know, it's fully detached townhouse. Yep. Uh, two days ago, or was it two days? Two, two days. Two days yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah. God, the time slips by. Um, uh, there's no furniture, but it's uh, 14,000 baht a month. Yep. Uh, as the um, monthly rental it's a one-year lease a one by one sort of thing so um, and of course he's gonna need to get some furniture so uh, we're gonna do a bit of furniture shopping today give you a bit of an idea of cost of living here in Thailand that's the first thing I want was uh, it a TV yeah you've got to have the big screen TV no I thought you wanted to sleep first don't you want to sleep <laughs> Okay, bed, <laughs> bed first, then TV. <laughs> bed first and TV, yes. Well, look at this stuff here, but this is, of course, their little um, uh, power mall type thing. There's a bigger power mall in the mall down in uh, Bang Kay, but uh, well, let's go and have a look at the furniture. What the car? Oh, yes, game, gaming chairs, yes. gaming chairs. Yes, yes. Um, 5,490 baht. What does that feel like? So I've done the conversion yeah. for the chair. Um, Two hundred and thirty. Two hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah, Australia. That's all right. We'll put we'll put the little banners up on the as we go along. But anyway. Oh yeah, like the car. Um, and of course, uh, I don't do bank. I've said many times we don't do cost of living because it's very very hard to actually sort of you know quantify cost of living because everybody's needs are different if you know what I mean. Um, but. Uh, Todd's a single guy and of course this is the example of a single guy living not directly in Bangkok but in the outskirts of Bangkok. Uh, he's similar to us but uh, you know he, he doesn't have a partner to deal with so it's going to be more relative for those you know Padang who want to move here and uh, make something of it. So we're going to look around Home Pro first then we're going to go now in another place which is more more in a budget furniture uh, so you get an idea of the base of them idea of both sides of this the equation so here we have our bedding there we go what was that that match this is awesome this is an awesome one uh, the mattress is okay well <laughs> the, the i don't know about the bling on the bed head but <laughs> yeah well you're only going to get the mattress here or mattress and base is it uh six foot that's a king size i'm pretty sure that's the sale price is 38 uh 565 for the I think we could call that the mattress and base, but that's quite expensive in my in my opinion. Yeah, so that mattress ensemble there, 38565 is like sixteen hundred dollars Australian. Yeah, like I'll be putting those things, you know, the direct conversions up uh, in the video as we go along. What are you looking for? Uh, bedding suite. Bedding suite. I've been online. And yeah. Found that. Do they have them here? Yes, down oh, here. Down further. down down here yeah. further. Okay. So this is the thing. We're looking for a set. Although we do used to shop a lot on the Home Pro, uh, their selection is rather minimal compared to Concept. When you, well, you'll see that when we get them at Concept, uh, and they give you a bit of an idea of the price differences as well. And this is the sort of lounge I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah. Was. Right. So yeah, well, that'll work in your. Well, it's twenty-nine thousand nine hundred. Okay. Yeah. Is that leather? Faux leather or uh, yeah yeah it's comfortable it's comfortable looks looks comfortable yes yeah so that, well, that, uh, that's that the one yeah well that's says 32 on your web store yeah the 29.9 that was like that's 1250 dollars australian that's a bit on the bit on the high side again but I, i've really no idea you know the prices of stuff in australia i've been out of the country for over five years so i've completely lost touch of you know what things are relative to inflation these days well there we are this is a, this is a set it's in home pro but it's actually from concept which is where we're going next and they've got the full set there so we'll probably see that one they've got 24 9 i don't know if we're going to if we're going to be able to match that up at concept but uh, uh that's a relative price it's got the, the dual cupboards it's got the it's got everything there well it's not a bad price when you look at it well it's just a set for lounge everything um that's just the bed set bed set so, okay here i use the set here so you no, get it, uh, not for the yeah. 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 yeah.
cupboard. It's very hard to read that, doesn't it? But I guess it's this one here, the side that table. There. And this one here. Oh, I see. You can see the set there. Bed. Yeah. Okay. And it's yeah, nineteen thousand nine hundred. But again, this is concept too. Yeah. And Todd's just uh, experiencing one of the uh, usual things that foreigners have to deal with here in Thailand when it comes to the mattress itself. Mattresses here in Thailand, for some reason, uh, I'm pretty sure they have an underlay of brick. Uh, and if you've ever sort of stayed in a hotel room, or generally hotel room somewhere in Thailand or even sort of you know rented somewhere for a short time or an Airbnb in case uh, Todd's in an Airbnb right now and as I said uh, these mattresses uh, god you know you might as well sleep on the floor you know <laughs> they're as hard as planks uh, so trying to find a nice soft mattress that can be really challenging and it always costs extra of course we still need to buy a um, he's going to find he's going to get a tape measure for us uh, I've got a critical sort of size issue that I have to deal with, but that's not bad, 14,900. Um, but yeah, it's not the length, it's the width I need to work out. I think 750 mil. Yeah, so with, the, with our particular dining area, I've got a 700 millimeter size. Anything bigger, it means you, it's too difficult to get in and out of the other sort of seats because of the sort of narrowness of the, of the room. Um, but what about this one here? This one here has got a different shape. What's the size across there? Close to 900. They look like a 900. They look like, they look like they're all about 900 wide, which makes it really quite difficult. But 23,500 for that set there. This is not a bad looking set. It wouldn't, uh, I'd go for a white with the black grain rather than the black with the white grain. That would fit with the room. Again, I'm not doing the shopping today. It's where we're shopping for his house, which is unfurnished. <laughs> <laughs> what they call squirrel? No, no, wombat, 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 wombat yes. <laughs> we get sidetracked as we go along. Here we have obviously bedding. This is another thing you're going to be sort of needing to buy when you're here. You're going to need two sets. One in the wash and one on the bed. Um, uh, again, it's something that I was never really used to, you know, comparing to coming here versus Australia. You know, normally in Australia you would have a, you know, like a fitted sheet, a top sheet, and then maybe a... Uh, a, a a doon over the top because in summer and winter you got two different temperatures whereas here in Thailand it uh, um, what we find is we find uh, it's a bottom sheet uh, pillowcases the the bolsters you know two bolsters two pillowcases and you get uh, what they call a, uh, a comforter um, and you actually sleep under a comforter as opposed to you know a top sheet then something over the top because it gets quite hot here yeah, so these sets here, she's won 5000 for these uh, bed sets. They're going up you know, a little bit more expensive, 6000 down to 4000 um, I'm pretty sure that's just the, the throw over there, or the uh, the comforter. Yeah, so what, what's that? Washing machine? And, of course, the towel. Oh, yes, yeah, so every good hitchhiker needs to know where his towel is. Um, what do we got here? 459 yeah, so I've got, I've got one towel at home, which is, I call mine, which is like a big beach towel because guys need beach towels. These towels here are so small for big guys. Like, you need two just to dry yourself off with, you know? Um, but, yeah, so 599 dollars 4 but uh, one really big, big. Okay, washing machines, LG. So how many kilos is this one here? Oh, that's a 19 kilos. It's probably way, way too big for you. You only want about a, maybe 14 to 15 kilo. Um, what are, where are we going to find those? We are, we're getting a bit more relative. This is a 10 kilo, 10 10.5 kilo uh, top loader, 10,100 baht. Um, they will vary on warranties and everything else. Uh, it's one of those, so 13 kilo for 15,000. What have we got there? That's a 14 kilo, 17,000. What about brand-wise? What you got a particular brand in idea? Uh, LG, Hitachi LG? are always good. Okay. Here's a 12 kilo LG for 9999. Yep. That's probably just probably the ideal size for you. That's really. Perfect. Perfect size. Perfect. Yeah. Take a photo of that one. Of course, I still reckon within a year there'll be a girl moving in. Don't you worry about that. Um, you know, he, he thinks he's going to have a single life here in Thailand, but I think he's in for a rude awakening in the fact that some girl's going to snap him up being single. <laughs> oh my God. Here's a Samsung 11 kilo for 8790. 
you get a 12 kilo for the same price. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll find this happening here a lot in Thailand, you know, like 11 kilo, 12 kilo, same price. Um, one might be an older model or something like that. They've just changed the models. We'll put a bigger motor in to spin them. I don't know what the... I really don't know the thing. One of the things I've always worried about the washing machines, it doesn't have the center agitator. Is that something new? Or like, I've always had center agitators in mind, you know? I, I just remember with the center agitators, they, everything gets wrapped around it, and if you don't pull it up... <laughs> oh, no, no. I've I never had a problem wrap around. Um, but, uh, yeah, so oh. the... Uh, comes with bonus washing powder. Oh, you get the bonus, Danny. Oh, my God. Something like this thing here, this little uh, 2250 two, two, for a little rack system that will go above the sink because you have a sink like this you already set in and that'll just sit over the thing there puts the chair puts the actually i might even get that myself um, again i don't know what size is it i can't read that i haven't got my glasses on but uh, that might be better for our place as well uh, i really need something to sort the sort of cutlery out in downstairs and the other day we were <laughs> trying to find coffee mugs the coffee mug i've got in my place at the moment is that. Oh, yeah, I know. What is it? They, they, they don't like a mug of coffee for some reason. <laughs> it's only these little pissy little go. No, oh, really. Anyway, yeah, and hot water. Um, I've just, we just worked out he doesn't want the hot water. He's going to do it Thai style. But uh, they're not expensive, you know, like the uh, 3 7 740 um, and uh, going up this 5140 uh, Rinai is a good brand. I think you can trust Rinai. I had a Rinai gas yeah. uh, on you know, gas on hot water on demand at, in my other house, and that was that was great. Um, but again, they don't even these these uh, water heaters. They don't need to lift the temperature all that much. But uh, you know, because the fact that you know the water is pretty much standardised, you know, 23 to 25 degrees Celsius most of the year, so you only need to lift it a couple about 10 degrees. So the, it's you know it's quite adequate. Not like the Rinai where, you know, you know, sometimes in the middle of winter, that water's coming out of those pipes at freezing temperature. Well, your water <laughs> used to come down from the Blue Mountains in Sydney, so of course yeah, it was cold. <laughs> exactly. Of course, moving in is going to be one of those challenges, the fact that, you know, he may decide after a couple of years he's sick and tired of knock on pain time and he wants to move to Isan. Or his girlfriend <laughs> girlfriend lives in Isan and wants to move him to the family. And he's going to have to pick all this stuff up. You know, oh my God. <laughs> I think he's I think he's starting to go back to Australia. Oh my God. I've got to say, I'm having a ball, was it? Uh, this is so much better than Bunnings. Yeah. Obviously. Way, way better than Bunnings. Way, 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 way better than Bunnings. Like the car? Like the car. Like okay, so we've got some cooktops here and we've got some cooktops here. Um, that'll require gas and all that sort of stuff, but gas bottles aren't expensive. Um, brand wise, uh, that's something I really can't help with, help you with. I don't know what's, I don't know what's good or bad. Uh, we got our cook top for mum here. I think we got Lucky Flame was the brand we got, but um, they all vary and they all look a bit on the tinny side, unless of course you're going for them with the ceramic tops, but they pay a little bit more for that. Not that expensive, I mean. Yeah, well, 1890, yeah, uh, 2990. Yeah. Um, less than, than, yeah. Less than 100 bucks. Yeah. Um, here's an Electrolux there at 3490. We were looking for an ovens, but uh, all they've got here is uh, wall ovens. Again, the wall ovens, you know, like I can see a low price there at 12900. Oh, I actually won there for a 9,900 from Electrolux. Uh, but of course, they go right up, depending on how many bells and whistles there. Uh, this one here is a SMEG. I remember Smeg, yeah, uh, 29,900. You don't want to be doing any building in there, so we're looking for a desktop model, um, which would, you know, just basically go on the top of the bench. Uh, he said he's seen something in the Lazada there, which might be the way to go. Uh, but again, so. And buying something from Lazada is a bit of hit and miss, you know, how well they describe the unit and everything else. And these things here, they're a one-off purchase that you want to take everywhere. And again, moving in, you'll always find yourself buying odds and ends throughout the you know, course of staying here. It's one of the things that you get with uh, moving into a new country. There's always things like, oh, I need to drill a hole in the wall, so I'm going to need a drill, I'm going to need drill bits, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to need a cupboard to put it all in, you know. Uh, it's always a challenge. And... Uh, when it comes to cost of living, you know, you can't really factor those numbers in when you're doing a cost of living video. That's why I try to avoid them. Uh, you know, moving in, it's a fairly hefty cost. 
like in our case, you know, effectively with the mods to the house, it cost us 800,000 baht to move in. And uh, so, you know, and of course I've still got another probably 100,000 to do, you know, with the kitchen and stuff. And there's always going to be some ongoing maintenance. So, um, people think it's cheap to live in Dino. Not really, when you start to think of all the whole moving in process. But once you set up, you're all good. So they call this section of the home prior the power. We've also got power mall at the mall. They do all the uh, plug-in stuff. It's an essential, a karaoke machine. Oh, for your house. But, you, <laughs> but we heard you singing the other day at the, at the New Year. No, uh, forget it, <laughs> forget it, forget it. No, you don't want it. Oh, that's a two, that's a two mic version. <laughs> oh my God. Look at them. X boom. Oh. What do we pay for ours? Like I think it's a six thousand or something, seven thousand for ours. But um, yeah, I think you want the TV first. All right, all right. Um, so you want a smart TV. I know they track everything you watch, but uh, once you put the Plex on there and you watch my library on the Plex, you'd be okay. They won't give a shit. They can't read Plex. No. Um, <coughs> but again, it's going to come down. So that was a fairly large room. It's like an L-shaped room downstairs. So. Um, not so sure how you're going to sort of set that one up. Okay, he's just saying he's saying 65 inch. Uh, what do we got? We got 71,000 for the, well, this new arrival. That's a QLED. Um, or something more, you know, standard dish small. This is 31,900, which is about what we paid for our 73. That's a curved screen. Um, not that it really makes much difference these days. It's a bit of a, uh, yeah, how's your father? Um, 24,900 for that one there, which is again. Samsung. I think you're pretty safe with Samsung. Yeah. Um, I don't think you need to go as big as 70 inch like we, you know, I still, I wonder why we went 70 inch, you know, she's hardly even watching the TV these days. You know. It's all about image here in Thailand, not functionality. Okay, he's got a bit of an idea of the TVs now. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take a quick run out to concept. So we're looking at concept furniture here. They're in a small section of concept, but concept have a big range. That's the actual uh, warehouse or furniture, uh, furniture barn sort of set up. Very hard to try to get in a comparison to that thing in Australia. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to look. Okay. So here we are at that concept, and this is the concept, uh, I suppose, furniture barn uh, where they have a lot of stuff on display. Uh, we bought the spare room uh, bedroom set here, and it's done us quite well so far. We used it when we moved in, and now it's in the spare room, and our guests use it which works quite well. So I have a bit of wind noise going across the mic there. Just trying to work out what this, what this set here is. Okay, that's 19,900 for that set. Um, but I guess the bed looks like it's got the, doesn't have the side tables there, but it's got the wardrobe and uh, the dresser. Which is all right, I guess. He said that bed was too hard. This one here is a bit on the softer side. And again, a, a bit of a selection. Well, of course, we're looking at 31,900 for this one. And there's a set there for the right, the right shape, 19,900 for an L shape. He says that's leather. It doesn't look leather. Is, that, is it leather or is it leather? It's vinyl. It's vinyl, okay. Didn't think it's going to be leather. Not that price. <laughs> and of course, I was saying to Todd there, this is like a brand name concept is a fairly top of the brand here. So you got that brand image uh, being sort of higher quality. But there's a lot of furniture barns here, which are private contract or private operators as well, uh, for like uh, assembled flat pack. You know, the, the Thai version of IKEA flat pack assembled uh, furniture, which then again lowers the price for a lot more. But uh, the quality of the chipboard that they use uh, can be a bit suspect. Uh, whether the chipboard's been, yeah, well, what's, what do you see near this one? The love shack. The, the love shack for the love, oh my god. <laughs> what do they want for this set? Okay, then is there a set price for this one? Well, that's 27,000 for the, for the bed. Um, they do have quite an extensive range. I suppose these days of online warehouses and everything else, you know, you can uh, look at stuff, but. You know, sometimes you just need to come and sit on the chair just to you know, get an idea how it feels. Uh, this one here is for the movie room. Yeah, it's got the drink holders and everything. Perfect. Yeah, what do they want for this one? 
Uh, yeah, well that's about right, 38,000. Um, can't tell what that's level, it looks like they're the red as well. And different office chairs, office furniture. Um, that would be a typical, you know, you've got to, you've got to get your computer desk yet. 4,900 for that one there. 5,500, they all seem to have the, about the varied same prices. But yeah, and of course we were looking at office furniture for the for the computer. One of the, one of his rooms. He's got a, it's a three bedroom townhouse. Uh, it's not a terrace. It's a it's actual fully detached. Uh, so one room, which is, I think it was about ten foot by nine foot. Yep. Um, uh, so you can you not you don't have to sort of squeeze it in like my two point five meter square <laughs> room, you know. <laughs> this is like what you had before. Yes, okay, it's got a, a computer, yeah, and the drawer. I don't see a price tag on this one. No. Here's a 9,500 uh, for this one here. Looks like it's been in the shop for a while as well. It's got the you know, power ink well, so you solved the problem there. Okay, you got the side sideboard table there, I think 4,500. Um, 2500 for that chair, but it's also got a sort of your filing cabinet system that's uh, all matching up. I can't see the price tag on this one there. She says 8800 for the for the table itself. It's a metal frame, and that comes with the two drawers. So you know 8800 there plus 44 45 for that one there, and this one here. Hold on. Hok Pan Noon Roy, okay. So uh, uh, 8,100. Um, 8, oh, doing my math. Oh my god, terrible. But it's a nice little set. That would set your office area, office space up perfectly. Okay, so we, we, they, they gave him a little book there to look at that uh, brand name itself. So, um, we've got everything now? Yep. Uh, we've looked at the bed, we've looked at um, the lounge, uh, looked at uh, the washing machine. Yep. Um, looked at um, electrical stuff over at Home Pro. Uh, I think it's just going to be a matter of when I move in, I'll get my toaster, I've already got my kettle, then yeah. I'll look at bits and pieces that go along. Yeah, so, well, you've seen all the prices as we've gone along there, so you've got an idea what he's going to spend. Uh, I don't know, I've got it to calculate out sort of some sort of uh, estimating figure to <laughs> move in, uh, which will be just down below right now, um, uh, what it probably costs for, you know, it's, it's a cost of living cost of actually moving into Thailand here uh, as opposed to uh, uh, your daily life of groceries. Yeah. We'll actually try to do a grocery shop next week or the week after after you've moved in because you're going to need to put some stuff in the fridge yeah. um, and we'll give you a bit of a snapshot of that as well. Uh, but for now I think uh, we've probably got a 20 minute video going here so that's probably long enough for you guys. You're probably bored by now. Uh, who wants to do shopping? Guys don't do shopping. Oh my God. We're showing you when you need it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, at least we get it done. We get it done in record time. Yeah. If I had shown you here, I'd be here forever. Um, so anyway, he knows where Home Pro is. He knows where Concept is. He's got website references and everything else. So he can do a bit more sort of juggling those numbers um, and uh, get himself all. I said, we, look, we signed the lease on Saturday. We paid the deposit. He sorted out his banking already. Um, I think we mentioned the banking issues on the live stream, but uh, we may have to do another video specifically about that somewhere down the track uh, after he gets all the other paperwork done because now he's got to go back to immigration after he moves in to get a new uh, certificate of residence yeah. so he can get his licenses done. And with, oh my God, so many things to do. Anyway, stick around. We'll be giving you the full rundown of that as we go along. You know, it's going to take a month or two. So, you know, stick around and we'll... We'll get him set up. Anyway, peace out. Bye for now. I, I want you to lift me up so I